Well, hey there, little prophets. My name is Miss Sarah, and I am so excited to talk to you about the gospel this weekend. You might be wondering why I called you little prophets. Do you know what a prophet is? Hmm. That's right. A prophet is someone who teaches others about the good news of God. Have you ever had some super good news and you just want to tell everybody that you know? Maybe you scored the winning goal at a soccer game. Maybe you're going to be a big brother or a big sister. Well, I get to share the gospel with you. And the gospel is God's good news for all of us. The gospels tell us all about Jesus and the adventures that he goes on with his family and his friends. We'll hear about miracles and healings. They are the coolest stories you will ever hear. Aren't you excited to share that good news with everyone you know? Well, buckle up. We're going to go ahead and jump into this weekend's readings. Today, we are going to talk about the Beatitudes. Now that is a big word. The Beatitudes are one of my favorite gospel readings. They can be a little confusing at first, but don't worry. We're gonna make them nice and easy for all of us to understand. Let's pull out our handy dandy Bibles and read together. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. After he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Wow! What does all of that mean? Let's go through them one more time, but make it a little easier to understand. Always remember that you need God to help you. If you're sad because of bad things that happen to you, always know that you can take comfort in God. Be patient and be gentle to people who might frustrate you. Always control your emotions and be caring to those around you. Always try to learn more about your faith. Try to talk to God through prayer and spread the gospel. Always be kind and forgiving, and don't forget the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Always try to think on the inside what you do on the outside. Make sure that your heart is in everything that you do. Make peace with others and always find the good in the world. And if you do all of these wonderful things and are still treated poorly for doing what is right, stay strong and trust in the Lord for your reward will be great in heaven. That is what the Beatitudes tell us. Now I bet you're wondering why each of the Beatitudes starts with the phrase, blessed are they. When Jesus uses the word blessed, he's saying that these people have joy in their hearts. Joy is even bigger than just being happy. Let me explain it to you this way. Being happy is like having a piece of candy. I bet all of us had lots of candy this weekend with Halloween, right? It was super yummy. Whether you went trick-or-treating or you had a Halloween party at home with your family, we all ate lots of candy, didn't we? I have just a couple of bags of Skittles here with me, and I'm going to give you an example of what it's like to be happy. Oh, and here's my puppy Luna. She's trying to eat all the candy. Do you want to come here, Luna? Does this smell nummy? Oh my goodness. All right, we'll go lay down. We'll get you a treat later, okay? Can you go lay down? Thank you, good girl. When you have a piece of candy, it's super yummy, right? Mmm, yummy. But it's gone so fast. Joy, on the other hand, is like having a big dinner. You have a plate full of food, your belly is full and you're satisfied. 
And that's what the difference is between happiness and joy. Joy is being completely full and content on God's love. Now, did you know that this gospel is for the weekend of November 1st? Do any of you know what we celebrate on November 1st? That's right! We celebrate All Saints Day. Who is your favorite saint? Say it out loud. Ooh, I love that saint. That's a good one. What about St. Francis? That's the saint that our church is named for. My favorite saint is St. Cecilia. She's my patron saint. Make sure you spend some time this week praying to the saints. Ask them for help to follow the Beatitudes, so that way you can see them one day in heaven. That's all we have for our video this week. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you again next week. Bye!